<laughs> well, welcome back, my fantastic artistic friends, to Painting with Master Temple. Now, I live in Yorkshire. It's one of the most beautifulest places on God's planet. And we're going to capture uh, a view of that right up here on canvas. Now, this is a canvas board, and we've uh, velcroed it to the, uh, to the easel. And we've coated this in liquid white. Now, we're not going to paint a precise picture. We're just going to have a, a little bit of a rough view of... of and the Dales or the North York Moors or somewhere like that, the Pennines. So many beautiful places. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit of cad yellow on a one inch brush. Okay, and I'm just going to mm, just about here, just put in a little bit of a yellowy glow. Start off with a really light yellowy glow. Okay, nothing to it, nothing to it. Okay, without cleaning the brush, I'm going to hit some Indian yellow. And just above that, we'll add that up there. Doesn't look much different at the moment, but it's a bit more, it's a bit more golden than it is Indian yellow. And we'll just blend that out, maybe take it off the edge of the canvas. Maybe go all the way across there. We're going to put some big hills over there, so we'll, uh, we'll leave it. Maybe as a bit of a background material, if anything shows through. Okay, without cleaning the brush once more, we're just going to hit a little tiny bit of yellow ochre. Now, this is a goldeny colour, really goldeny browny yellow. I'll just put that up there and take that off over there, just like that. Okay. And these colours will blend quite easy because we've got the the, the white already on the canvas. And we'll just take that over there. Now, I'm going to make a little bit of a purpley colour. I'm going to set this brush down. We might need it later on. I'm going to make a, a little bit of a purpley colour out of uh, a bit of thalo blue and a touch of alizarin crimson. More crimson than, than blue. Just a tiny touch of the Prussian blue in that. Okay, let's get another brush. This one will do, I think. Make sure it's dry, yep. And then we're gonna put a tiny, tiny bit of this purpley color up there so it looks like some dark rolling cloudy shapes just above that, just there. Okay, we'll just throw that in any old owl, just there. Okay, maybe feather that off to nothing. All right. We're, we're rocking and rolling. Okay, let's get another brush. Running out of brushes already. Now I'm taking Thalo Blue and a tiny bit. I've got a big two inch brush now. Thalo Blue and French Ultramarine. Okay, and up here, we'll just start putting in some blue sky. Some blue sky. Now, if we hit this purple, that's all right because I'm going to mix them together anyway and then highlight where that rolling cloud will be at some point okay so we'll just put that in there we go phthalo blue and french ultramarine and then just gently go across the whole the whole thing and then down there in that rolling cloud just like that okay i'm going to vibrant that uh, those corners up a little bit okay so we can either wash your brushes or take another brush I'm gonna gonna go straight into uh, Prussian blue, maybe mm, maybe a touch of phthalo blue, just just up there, just into the corners, just touch the corners, maybe a bit across the top as well. Okay, set that brush down, and then let's blend those together as well, just like that. Oh, that's a pretty. Pretty dramatic sky already. Now, get a big dry brush. Make sure it is dry. And I'm gonna let's pick a bit of white up first. And just here where, where this yellow is, just I'm gonna start blending this into that purple. Just across there like that. Because that purple's there, it stops the blue from hitting the green, from hitting the yellow, and the yellow is in the, the blue. Because we don't want to end up with a green sky now. No, sir. Okay, now I am going to wash the brush. In 
oldless paint thinner, shake off the excess. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now then, let's take some titanium white paint just on the corner. So I'm just tapping just the corner so only the corner is loaded with paint. And then up here, just above just above this, this big cloud, we're gonna put some fluffy, cloudy looking shapes. Don't make them too uniform. Remember clouds live as free as they want to. You can't control a cloud. So there, there we go. Just a few little highlights on a big fluffy cloud, just like that. Okay, let's wipe the excess off, okay. And then flip the brush over and I'm just going to use the top corner. So I'm not painting. I'm just I flip the brush over and I'm using the top corner. I'm just going to merge these two together. In fact, let's, let's get a little brush. Right, sneak in there a little bit better. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Just like that. I tried to cheat then. It, it wouldn't let me. I didn't, I didn't like it. All right. So there we go. So we've got a big cloud. Take a big dry, dry brush, and then we're just going to fluff this up, tease it up, just very, very gently, hardly touching the canvas. There, and then just gently go across to take the brush strokes out, and that blends down there, just like that. Excellent stuff, right? So I think that's it for us, uh, Sky. Now, now, most of this yellow might might vanish. It might not. But I'm hoping it will. <laughs> you know me. Okay, so I'm going to take a tiny bit now. Fan brush. And I'm going to take some sap green, some burnt umber, Van Dyke brown, and white. Okay. So we've got a dirty green that's been paled off a little bit in the white paint. And we'll put a distant rolling hill round about there. Now, I haven't over mixed the, the, the paint. You'll get variations of the colours showing through. And we'll paint a big hill just there, like that. Wobble the brush. Okay, and then just fill this, fill this gap in, I suppose. See? Just like that. There. There's all kinds of colours on the uh, on the Pennines and on the Mars and everything. It's a beautiful place, beautiful place. Okay, we'll just put some filler colour in there. Just like that. And then we can come back, maybe grab a bit of Van Dyke Brown on the on the shadowy side perhaps. Maybe this isn't the shadow side. Maybe this is facing the sun. I don't know. Whatever you want, whatever you want. There, like that. Now let's take that big brush that's got the white paint that we made the cloud with. Okay, and we're just gonna tap the base of that. Really get in there and tap. So it's got a bit of white paint on there, but there's white on the canvas already. And we'll just tap there and then just blend this up, tease it up. Okay, and some of that yellow that we put on there is still showing through. So we get a, a, a lot of multi -tool, multitude of colors. That's easy for me to say, yeah? And down there where we've, we've put a bit of colour on, we'll just blend that off. So there we go, a little, little, let's define some of those areas there. So a little bit more sap green perhaps. Okay, and maybe it comes down there like so. Change the flavour a little bit. But this is far away. We're not gonna really make any, any detail. Too much detail far away distorts the eye. It's not enough detail close to us. So there you go, little top tip from your Uncle Daniel there. All right, all right, so let's just, again, just tease that a little bit, set it into the painting. There we go. Happy, happy, happy days. Right, so that was quite fun, so let's make another one. All right, there's lots of hills in Yorkshire, you know. So a bit more brown. Okay, I'm gonna change the flavor of the browns. I'm gonna get burnt sienna, raw umber. Again, a bit of green. Maybe even, because it's getting closer to us, a tiny bit of that uh, of that crimson. Okay, and we'll probably put one, mm, 
where we are now. There, like that. And wobble. Maybe get a bit more green in that. <laughs> and that comes down there in front of this. There we go. So you can see we painted most of that yellow over, but that's all right. We know it's there. We know it's there. And then we just start to fill in and tap and create and play. There, a bit more green. Just down there like so. Looks like a little misty, foggy area down there, doesn't it? And that's exactly what we're after. That's exactly what we need. Okay, so just tap, get a bit more colour with the fan brush. Down the side of the hill, down the side of the moors. Just like that. One of the most beautifulest things I see when, when travelling north. So I live in West York. Well, I actually live... Uh, I live on the borderline between North and West Yorkshire. <laughs> if I, I'm in West Yorkshire at the moment, but if I go to the other side of the street, I'm in North Yorkshire. Kind of crazy, yeah? And anyway, the, the, the most beautifulest thing when I'm travelling north into North, Northern North Yorkshire is the, uh, the purple heather. And I've, I've talked about this before. So I'm, I think we might have a bit of purple heather in this. Anyway, so... All I'm doing is just tapping around with a fan brush, okay, onto that yellow and then down there like so. I've painted many paintings like this and it's always beautiful to do. Always beautiful to do. I don't know what's on this brush but we'll tap the base just like we did before. We want to mist up the base of this, climb the side of those uh, hills <laughs> with the brush. We see we've got a nice, lovely, it's gorgeous colours, gorgeous colours. Okay, just tease that together, bring it all together just like that. And then just whisper that into nothing. Okay, where we've got this hill in the front, we might, uh, we might bring it down a little bit more. So maybe a little bit more, maybe a bit more of the Elysian Crimson onto that. Bring that out there. There we go. Like that. And then let's tease that part into the painting. Yeah. And blend. There. That's all we need to do. A couple of big brushes, a bit of desire to achieve, and we're away with it. Okay, I'm going to put another one in. All right, but I'm going to get a bit stronger. So I'm going to get a tiny bit of magenta into that. Now, magenta is a Windsor and Newton colour. Okay, so we've got the greens, the browns, <laughs> magentas, everything going on there, and crimson. So we're going to start off there, and just build our hill. It's not as it's not as prominent as the uh, the other marlins. Okay, I'll just build that down there, like so. Okay, getting a bit darker, maybe a bit lower. Oh, a land. Okay, just tap, 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 tap. Tap in like so. And maybe change the flavour, get a bit of green in there. And all we're doing is just, just hitting at random. But just thinking about where where this moorland lives. There, like that. I think it lives there. We know it lives there. Okay, one more time, we'll we'll blend the base of this. So this is the, the brush that we're blending with. And then again, just take that out. Really get firm. This is why a Velcro, if I don't have a, a canvas on a board, a canvas on the, uh, the wood stretchers, on the frames and everything, yeah. if you're hitting this hard, you're gonna end up knocking your canvas right out of the easel, so so you've gotta you've gotta you've gotta make sure it's firmly tied down, firmly firmly nailed down. There we go. Anyhow, it's Friday night. I'm painting this for you for Sunday morning, and we're having a good time. All right. Okay, so I think we'll have some trees down here. We've come we've come low enough. I'm just gonna. 
change a little bit of flavour up on these hills. Just put a little, maybe a tiny bit of, of the purples in, just to, just to give it a bit more. There. Okay, it annoys me. Sometimes it annoys me. Right, so let's paint some little trees, I think, down there. Let's use this. This is an old rounded brush. Okay. And we'll put, um, let's have a field of trees just down there. So again, I'm just going to go into some sap green to start with. Mix it maybe a little bit of brown every now and again. And round about there. If they're too bright, we can tone them down a bit with a bit of, a bit of brown perhaps maybe a bit of yellow ochre in there just looking for some basic tree shapes not, not gonna go mad there's not many trees up up on the Pennines but when we get to the lower ground there is there's not there's not many up up on the hills themselves there we go, a couple down there. Wipe off the excess, maybe get a bit more of the, the green. Now back there, like so. And just fill this in. Where, about there perhaps, what we're saying. Should we have a stream, a little stream maybe? I don't know. Let's put some lots of lovely waterfalls. In fact, I think that's what we're gonna paint. In a couple of weeks time maybe maybe all right where's that dark color on that uh, fan brush that we had and we'll just put in some land just some land that all these big trees are sat on darken it off towards the edge work it in there just like that there we go maybe lift up a tiny bit some long grasses like that, gotta look for those long grasses. Okay, I'm gonna get a bit of blue. In fact, what do we have on this? We had some blue on this one, didn't we? Okay, so we'll have a, we'll have a little bit of a stream on this. This was the blue from the sky. Okay, just pull that straight down. Straight down. And then just gently across that. And that'll give the indication of a ref bit of a reflected bit of a stream that's or a river or something that's that's there okay the local river to me starts off in uh, i think it's ingleborough way back and i've been to the source of the river it's about 18 foot deep outside is the river and the, the source is it's literally a, a, a little bit of a a, a wet ground it's just seeping through the ground it's, it's kind of it's kind of neat to see i'm proud of yorkshire okay so a little bit of white paint and we'll put in a little water line just there just separate the land from the water i guess we locally say water okay maybe a couple of little ripples out here where the old trout the old trout lives and jumps out there just that lot now we can scratch in just some old tree trunks just there might even put some in with a bit of bit of brown paint and some thinner just use odorless paint thinner a little tiny bit of brown paint and then every now and again we'll, we'll just put the tiniest little tree there maybe that's a big tree that's long since gone and maybe one or two up there <laughs> the dicky birds are singing yeah like that couple of little tree trunks wherever you want to maybe a couple more down at the base hold some of these trees up like that but again we don't want too much detail like we said before too much detail far away distorts the eye Right, I think we need to, to put something over here now. And um, the purple heather sounds about right. So let's go for it. Let's go for it. So I'm going to take some magenta. Straight into that magenta. Now you might need your sunglasses on in a minute. Okay, start off there. And work his way down. 
there like that and then all the way across there like so so maybe yeah just let me lay it in and paint this in like that maybe we stood on top of a hill looking down there like that that's pretty isn't it that's a beautiful color that is one beautiful beautiful color okay maybe it comes down there like that so this is just the background and we're coming back and we'll we'll put the the, the bushes on and stones and everything that live out there but that is the honest color that it sometimes turns it's kind of crazy really crazy there like that maybe yeah, like that okay so let's put some plants in how are they going to live how are these plants going to live okay so i'm going to take a bit of crimson i think and we'll put a bit of crimson there and maybe a bit of crimson there We'll just keep doing this just tap in just tap in a bit more of the magenta let's build the color up all right so there and there and there so i'm just darkening off some of these areas now we know where we're gonna paint just for his highlights to show and i think we might have oh call a bit of blue there that's all right don't matter that don't matter to us at all okay a bit more over there like like that now I think we should have a little bit of highlight on some of these so let's make a purpley pale color okay so taken some white let's take a bit more of that liquid white magenta let's change the value a bit more a bit more of the magenta yeah liquid white and magenta it's too thin it might run and if it's too thick it won't stick okay so let's just touch we're just trying to highlight some this purple heather okay so we're everywhere we think that's there's a, a purpley heather sort of plant so that's going to be more purpley that's where we're going to put them okay and then down there it's such a beautiful beautiful time when when the heather comes out it really is heathcliff was up there as well once upon a time <laughs> Heathcliff there we go so we'll just build this in so just change the values and flavours there a bit more down here like so bit of a crazy colour yeah but this is gospel truth I'll probably put a um, a photograph on on screen right now or maybe earlier on in the video of what these uh what this ever looks like if you've not had the pleasure of going up there a bit more down there like that and yeah, so we're just highlighting this with a bit of white okay maybe one or two brushes there and there don't uh don't kill all the uh the under color but uh make sure that we've got some highlights definitely on there like that okay let's let's change it a little bit so again a bit of paint thinner a bit of brown we can add a few of these sticks that might sneak up in between there there maybe maybe one there and maybe one there and so where the old uh, the sheep hasn't hasn't managed to stand them down yet there, like that just add a couple in there and there and there, everywhere maybe there's some old stones as well so let's 
let's put a couple of stones and then maybe a standing stick or something like that yeah so let's let's do that let's make a nice thin gray color so let's take some let's take some liquid white tiny bit of black just a tiny bit white and black okay tiny bit of black into that white maybe there we go like that so it's nice thin gray color right i have a filbert brush on here somewhere didn't know i was going to use it so i probably hid it away this will do this is a little rounded brush i can't find my filbert all right so i'm going to go into the black paint load the brush full of black paint and then then just on one side and one side only do that thin light color so we've double loaded the brush okay and i'm going to put a big stone there so you get the highlight and the shadow in one go maybe reload your brush and let's put another one just there like that don't worry we'll come back and neaten that that bush up that heather bush at some point there like that creating all kinds of nice stony effects maybe it comes around there like so maybe another one like that is filling these big stones just like okay load it full of black paint again maybe we've got a couple more that are just sneaking in one one there maybe <laughs> give him a nice friend there bit of a dark one there there and there okay back to the uh, back to the uh, the heather bush color <laughs> you gotta be careful Dan you gotta be careful okay and then just neaten the base of these stones up bit of white get a bit more pale than that there we go maybe add a bit of uh losing crimson into that change the value a little bit more we'll come down there and just set these stones into the painting like that okay we said we're gonna have like a sticker or a post or something like that so let's grab uh whatever this one is okay make sure it's dry and clean and go into some van dyke brown okay and then sometimes sometimes we seem to have a stray air there so i'll just pull that off before we put it on the canvas sometimes they have an old signpost or standing stick or something like that will tell you tell you how far you've got to walk downhill how far it is uphill <laughs> really weathered away where the nearest farm is, where the nearest alehouse is, yeah? There. Just pull that down, those stones, just, just keep it upright. Okay, back to the palette knife. Let's put a little bit of highlight on that. So a tiny bit of white paint mixed in with some brown paint. Where's the sunlight coming from? Well, we think it's there, don't we? So let's take this and then just gently just just like we would do a tree maybe just touch and go down one side just there like that just to create a little bit of weathered wood there like that gently 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 a bit of weathered wood yeah all right now i need to need my stone back up so where's, where's where's my brush with the stone stone mixture on let's see a look black into that thin gray paint and then let's just take that across there a big stone there there like that like so then working yourself silly Dan, you should have done all this to start with. Let's get, 
but we don't care. We're practicing, we're having a good time. It's Friday night, like I said. <laughs> there we go. And I think we're nearly finished. So if you have enjoyed this painting, please, please, please give me a big thumbs up. Let me know if you've been to Yorkshire. Okay, let me know what you thought of the place. Let me know what you thought of the people. And uh, yeah, yeah, leave me a comment and subscribe if you can. It's free, you know. Subscribe to the channel. It does help us out. It means that we can create lots more fantastic little paintings like this for you guys to do. But until next time, take care of yourself, stay safe, and as always, have the sin and happy day. I see thee.